and welcome to the final show of this season. This season has been dedicated to you, our cherished viewers, who have been following this show for the past 10 years. And don't worry, if you are less than 10 years old, you are equally cherished. Indeed, we hope you continue to follow this show and prioritize your health above all else. I have a surprise for you this episode. One of our very own is going to be grilled in the hot seat with me. Yes, you do not want to miss this. Dr. KK has an interesting story to tell us in This Week in Medicine about the very first group of Ghanaian doctors that performed brain surgery without opening the scar. This show is brought to you by Vodafone. Further together. Ordinary world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services available in Ghana, your dreams are achievable. Get more for less with Vodafone Data. Vodafone. Further together. Well, 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 it's lovely to see you. Final episode for this season. Are you ready to bust the last myth? Absolutely, bring it on. Ah, I have a funny feeling. <laughs> you and I are going to have a mm -mm -hmm, as usual. Oh, no. Not I mean, going to agree. I mean, so as we're leaving, I want everyone to see me as a very understanding Aww. person. So anything you say today, I'll let it slide. <laughs> and I'm a nine one. <laughs> Let's go see what myth you have to say. <laughs> I <laughs> 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 The water is so hot, the one can hardly squeeze the thing. So some Oh, please. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some oh, my understand. lovely Dr. Oh, no. Pekun no, It's okay, I won't talk. Oh, Dr. Kekun. Everything you say is right. Everything is possible. No, but Please. seriously, do you think it happens? Let okay, Swimmer so, answer first. Let me set the premise. Because I agree with Swimmer. <laughs> let me set the, <laughs> the, the premise. Yeah. You know that the Ashanti tribe does this a lot. I am Ashanti, by the way. They, they do that. And, and you know the Ashanti have My head is molded, a, by the way. A, 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 they have a particular head shape. Oh, fancy. come on. They do. I mean, they, I mean it seems no, nice. They sort of have a round head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Arguably, mm -hmm. yeah. they sort of have round heads. Mm. My head has a lot of, you know, but I like it all the same. A lot of what is, what is, you know. Oh, often uh, bumps apple, and projections. Apple, apple. <laughs> well, it gives you character. Thank you very much. Oh, I think today we're really working together oh. nicely. <laughs> Anyways, so you think that it's possible I'm to just, mold I'm the just head? I'm setting the tone that the Ashantis do that, and so, they have it only there, I thought it was an account thing. What was the friend Ashanti tree? That's what they call it. Like th that shit. My mother did not do something for me. The head looks. I know. Say? I'm serious. What my mother did for me, she's ensuring that it's being done <laughs> to generations that have come after me. <laughs> it's not part. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but. Tell me, what do you think? Oh, it, it doesn't really give shape per se. Yes. But mm -hmm. I won't deny that I have, to, I've done it. You did it to give like shape. It, no, no. Yeah, you really. probably didn't do it for the shape. No, so because it's kind of and water, soothing. And the, yes, and the water is not that hot. I mean, mm. seriously. David, you know what did you do? You need the other brow. Oh, it's and, hot and, and, water. And that means that, no, that means that then <laughs> I didn't do it. 
Because what I used was okay. not that hot. Good, good. What did you do to you? I know, don't want to watch it. Are we roasting heads or like baking bread? <laughs> I should say, like I said, today I'm being very mm. passive but in this discussion. Nonetheless, if it's that hot, are there any repercussions now? I mean, I, I, one and first and foremost, we come with our character, the head what is going to be it's sort of pre-programmed I'm sure it's not influenced by by the, the birth canal no so the birth canal when it's coming in uh -huh. the head you see god is god is very sharp mm -hmm. guy <laughs> he has done it like that tinoban no more like shame day exactly uh, yes. there are a lot of spaces in so, between the bones you see when you, the baby's head here there's a hole there initially yes and the bones if you have a new baby check the bones you can feel some steps yeah. in between yeah. so the whole cranium literally munches together and comes out hey, again oh you see oh no the shape oh, munch, not munch, munch, tamo, munch munch biscuits and as okay. see and today we're in a good today we're being nice so i'm not going see, so <laughs> us is doing that the child if your it's father's head if your father's head is four box you or your mother's get, head is no four matter box, how much based on those genetics yeah. you would get that four box so are you saying that the shanty head is genetically programmed not necessarily Pro the hot water probably molding. i'm just making an inference from the fact that their head shapes look nice mm. and you don't get those funny projections to the cake in his head is black no, if i turn if i turn the back you see what she's talking about <laughs> The back has some things there. It's okay. I mean, it's fine. I mean, we've gone past it. Would so, it cause any damage to the baby, though? This hot water. And the molding eh, that happens. Apart it's from what the scalp, I don't expect it to okay. cause any, any brain no. issues. Okay. Hey, what about the No, won't <laughs> Now you're going too far. <laughs> no. That means you have to imagine. I told well, you it was Given how you. sharp you are, I don't think it's true. But anyways, my point is, if you have um, Ashanti's in the diaspora mm -hmm. they don't tattoo their head but their head is still round oh no i mean them steady yeah so i have a friend who has nice ashanti head. Steady. oh <laughs> yeah oh you anyways <laughs> i don't think that using the hot water to do the head would do the head shape the way you want it but, but like abba says it's soothing it relaxes the baby mm. you know like a, a after that the baby is likely to sleep well yeah, for you you know uh -huh. so those ones are pluses mm. if you're going to use water that's boiling like that you can even hold with your old fingers <laughs> well what a season this has been celebrating 10 years of sponsoring life transforming surgeries and bring it together expert medical advice so that we and you out there can actually make informative choices and live healthy fulfilling lives now for those who missed all those 10 years and actually have missed <laughs> the entire season i can't believe you did that actually mm -hmm. but we got you let's recap some of our best moments Ten years of amazing stories from various beneficiaries. We know you are probably trying to remember what happened in season 10. We will give you some highlights on our most exciting moments. Two new segments were introduced, Jewels in the Kitchen and This Week in Medicine. Come along with us as we relive this exciting journey. Little Miss Amayao was our first beneficiary case from season one. That my parents supported me in my condition and also Vodafone coming in to help me. It's just by God's grace and I'm happy. Just like your name. Yes. It was lovely having her on season 10. Charles Dramina had a condition which prevented him from enjoying his childhood. Grandparents, I can't hear me say, I can um, um, no normal, but only uh, be two years ago, no one say no fun. Aye, kese. Now, if you look at her, she was It was diagnosed with Hirschsprung disease, which requires surgery. Miss Minifi, Minif Capre, Namura, who is there? I'm not so much a man, but I'm a man. 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 I'm we thank God for Healthline a lot. They've really helped us to relieve our burden. It was rather unfortunate for Jaden to be born without genitalia. I wonder where I'm from. I'm the old first year. 
this child is passing urine from an opening which is not through the penis and even though we have formed one artificial one for him he's going to need surgery in order to bring the urine to the tip of this phallus Oh, she said the moon wagi. Not the word of one fast day. Ma, you mama the bottle and name, no, so. Oh, dear, the mob on the web situation, no, but what? But if Mata won us up, Mr. Daniel Akono, a mechanic, was confined in bed with a spinal cord problem. He said, Mia, been to me, Nassim, been to me, Nassim, a damn sister, a chin, so I didn't show a time, nah, it's a shame to see ya. The <laughs> I call him and said, "Jesus, I'm your mama." They are sad because they're far from my wonderful foundation for you. Me da umwa se pa. Medical myths which had the internet buzzing. Please, being a man, please do tell them whether it's true or not. Yes, it doesn't. Permanently expand. We usually because the vagina is a is an elastic, predominantly elastic tissue, it stretches and comes back to near normal. Mm. But especially when after delivery you put in the effort to exercise mm. and tone those the muscles, muscles and strengthen what they call the pelvic floor. <laughs> <laughs> How many bars of chocolate <laughs> must you consume? What's an aphrodisiac? The aphrodisiacs are stuff that we take in to, they say, to enhance sexual pleasure or to enhance arousal. So it's just an enhancer. Okay. You know, so technically that's the definition. There are a lot of natural things that have been thought to have aphrodisiac. Okay. Shall I know a few? Uh -huh. I'm sure I'll leave that for you to elaborate on. I think that if the woman had eaten the chocolate, it would have been better. Because uh -huh. the man, the once it's true called, or false? Once it is it's true called, or false? You know what I mean. <laughs> once it's called to the bar, he will dump it. If I can propose, it will not stop the diarrhea, mm -hmm. but it will help to rehydrate you and Thank keep you. your uh, your hemodynamics. Where I think that's Stable, your blood pressures. No, my ready to just pounce. Hey. But the catchphrase here is that a lot of diarrheas are self limiting. Thank you. Our specialists on this season were extraordinary. We met Dr. Agri, who is a trauma surgeon at the 37 Military Hospital in Accra. Our first see to the wound on the head. Why the head first? Right, because the scalp bleeds a lot. Okay. Right. And then the approach is to first start with the head the body before he goes to the limb. Dr. Richard Day Asamoa, a specialist psychiatrist, throws light on how to handle depression. The only time we can't help you is when you have completed it. When you So once I do some pain, you will know it to me, your mom, your psychotherapy. Your doctor said, and I say, I answer for you know, because I check your crab fast, you are be free. Uh, how now, woman? Yeah, we look at your social setting. So, we'll be saying, more, we'll have this mean that I do a shame. I don't go more, 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 because I will be you will free. So, I will have Dr. Paddy Ayete, who is an obstetrician and a gynecologist at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. The high insulin 
that is doing this there. Mm-hmm. You know, say insulin is common. Yes. Common is my back all over the body. Uh-huh. I do ovary. I catch it ovary. Say ovary, make male hormone. Oh. Mm-hmm. Two things get popping up in jewels in the kitchen. Anti-inflammatory, 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 anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidants, antioxidants, or antioxidants also. Two things make us say the only way are anti-inflammatory. Now, just say one meal will grow inside. What the antioxidants are? Just say my ninche, my pomodin, my hordin. Let's turn our attention to some medical history around the world. Right here in Ghana in 1999. We had the first Siamese twins separated. They were joined from the lower portion of their chest and the abdomen, and they shared a common liver and other vital organs. The world's first total penis and scrotum transplant was performed by surgeons at the John Hopkins Hospital. The patient was a veteran that suffered a blast injury at war in Afghanistan. It took 14 hours to complete. And a Chinese man had his hand grafted to his leg to preserve it. The procedure was scheduled to be a two-stage procedure. The first was to attach the hand to the leg to allow for satisfactory healing in the wounded area to deal with infections and then reattach the hand from the leg back to the upper leg. Let's pick up this conversation on our social media platforms. Subet me nya kwenya sronko aye nije ye power Vodafone so ye di data bundle sa eni seso organa ha bro ye mo da ye so ye ni da so nyi na be enti baka ye ho nya data mo ni je power be bre Vodafone further together Well I did tell you that our very own will be in the hot seat and who do you think it is KK or Abba you know me, I'm biased though. Ladies first. So, <laughs> Ava! Yay! <laughs> Finally, the hot seat. Yes! <laughs> hot seat, not myth related, <laughs> not stories related. Straight up cardiology. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's actually lovely to have you talk about your field. Thank you. Thank and you. Today's for the topic is it's quite dear to all of us heart attack. Mm. Mm. There are so many things on social media, some even claim that you can save your own life. I have a heart attack, insinuating that you don't need a hospital and all that. It would be good to delve into those myths and, okay. and, and, and really tell us what it is. Okay. We, everybody knows the heart. We can feel our heart beats and yes. all that. But Akumana and Kasano, is it straight like this? Is it here or here? Mm. And uh, apart from Bono, 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 benefits ne not All right. Mm-hmm. So the heart is. In my opinion, the most important organ in the of body, course, isn't be it? <laughs> I mean, it's the one that is supposed to pump blood mm. that contains all the nutrients and all the oxygen that the rest of the body depends on mm-hmm. to function. Okay. So if the heart stops working, mm. really you are you, you gone. are gone. There isn't very much else that can be done. No the so that important. makes it the most important <laughs> organ in the body. And it's a very muscular organ located usually underneath the left breast. Okay, so you say I'm a higher me yao, uh-huh. and you think it's from the heart. Yes. Usually, it would be, okay. but it's, the heart is not in the middle of the chest. Okay, it's underneath the left breast. Underneath. Yes, like behind. Okay. Behind the left mm-hmm. breast. Okay. Okay, and its main function, as I said, is to pump out blood, mm-hmm. but also to relax and to receive blood. Okay. Okay, so that it supplies the body what it needs, but being the workhorse, you know, so it needs its own supply, mm-hmm. as in like. Uh, so on where did he? Uh, exactly. Ah, exactly. Bible process, uh, uh, 
uh, uh, we don't muscle the, the ox whilst it's, it's yes, grinding the yes. grain. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 So it will also require some blood supply of its own mm. containing adequate oxygen for it to be able to do what it should do. So how does it do that? Aha. So the heart has its own blood supply. Okay. Okay. And during its relaxation, it fills into all these vessels. These vessels are called the coronary vessels. Okay. And the coronary vessels are the ones solely responsible for supplying oxygen to the heart itself. itself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that it's able to do its job. Okay. So then the issues become tricky when these coronary vessels somehow are unable to do that function. Okay. It means the heart who is supposed to pump blood for other organs it's itself, it's starved. Oh, wow. And therefore unable to do it. And you know oxygen is so critical. So if you don't ex get oxygen, the muscles begin to die. And dead muscle cannot pump blood. Mm. So that is the beginning of a cascade of very, very, very serious um, events. And that in a nutshell is the heart attack. I was going to ask you. Uh -huh. So is that actually heart attack when the heart begins to die? Yes. So if for some reason the blood supply to the heart is inadequate and it begins to die, that is when you see a patient has had a heart attack. Hmm. Now, this there are several mechanisms by which the blood supply to the heart can be cut. Typically, it's because there's a clot that forms within okay. the coronary vessels. Okay. okay. Now, the, the clots, no patch said blood clot and not at all. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Exactly. And that's because on oh, coronary vessels, no, as you're growing older. Certain things occur in the lining of these blood vessels. We call them plaque. Okay. And these are um, like little, little bumps that occur in the walls. They are fat laden and they grow bigger and bigger and bigger with age and with other risk factors like hypertension, diabetes, smoking, poor dietary habits. Makes the plaque grow within these very small coronary vessels. Mm. In Tiabedu Baby, and these plaques can just break up or rupture and in the body's attempt to secure that rupture blood small small blood vessels and small small blood cells are laid on to cover it mm -hmm. and in doing so it blocks the vessel can you imagine this is the coronary vessel mm. and there's a plaque that has ruptured here mm. and then the body starts laying down these small small cells to try and secure the clot mm -hmm. it will eventually occlude the coronary vessel and then you super focus here occlude means close uh-huh it will close the blood vessel. Mm. It means the moja kakrana be fahako na supply the heart itself and so I am blocked. Mm. And so that part of the heart that is supplied by this vessel mm. won't get any oxygen. Mm. And without oxygen, tissue dies. Mm. And when the tissue dies, the heart cannot function. So does it heart attack no? Akumano is beginning the the baby and infant say clot na akoshe ama moja no entu mindi fu sanin ko that part of the heart no. A whoop answer now. Obet, when you saw by chain, how I behoon say by any heart attack and be a whoop answer now. When you saw our symptoms of heart attack, no, and now say a fain a All right, so the symptoms that you actually feel are the heart's cry for help. Okay. Because once the blood supply is cut off, the tissue undergo, with well, the tissue mean the heart tissue itself undergoes some changes mm. that sends a signal that tip, one of the typical and changes will be the presence of pain. Okay. okay. So the presence of pain is the heart's way of saying that I'm in need of something mm. and I'm not getting it. Mm. Nothing I need is oxygen. Mm. So it's the first one of the first things that would alert you that there's a poor blood supply to the to the heart. So that pain now will come. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's the same. All right. So the pain is usually described as being ritual stain. Now, this is the sternum. The heart structure here the bone in the middle okay. of your chest okay. and this pain is usually described as a sharp or a severe pain at the back of this bone which typically would radiate or spread out you know from the best the, well, a best well, 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 now nah, 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 left shoulder well, left okay, left, left shoulder, yes okay. and now say be call with jaw well, left and also left jaw now. yes and now sometimes to your back okay okay now this is the classic way that it would present but heart attacks don't present classically all the time indeed there are patients who get heart attacks are ah, almost feel chest pain there yeah. okay yes that, so that, how, that would, how would they know so those are the things where 
there are other atypical ways by which they present, such as they might just be having nausea or sweating, or they'll present with evidence of the heart being damaged. Because when your heart attack now, when into a commando muscle on the elbow, and na any juma ye, into juma na any into me any ye no, a whole sun sun sun, and na ubi hu. Ti a commando into me in pumpi ye ya in suko jina o chest, in suko jina o na se a commando bo kim kim kim, o brain tem o homi en si so. Now those will be symptoms of heart failure, mm. and heart failure occurs subsequent to a myocardial infarction, wow. which is a heart attack. Wow. Me dream who said, "Ya uno, a bet to say, we nim say obi anwo me say kinda, na kopo adu munti." But a bet to say obi a bo umu ana say, ana pain is such that say there's no way you can mistake it. Say where di, e ya makuma ane ya me ya. Okay, so that's an important question because there are several, several causes of chest pain. Mm. And a heart attack isn't one of the commonest causes of chest pain. Okay. Okay, so um, you'd have to use several things. We would use that in medicine. We'd use the history, the exam, you know, and the physical findings that you get during the exam to try and determine whether chest pain, yeah, we will feel, you know, is it very likely to be from a heart attack mm. or not? For example, you have a young 18-year-old girl yes. complaining of neha, uh, on your hypertensive, on your diabetic, yes. on your dyslipidemic, mm. on no cigarette. It's also in high and young. Mm -hmm. Just because of the age and any lack of risk factors, you know, it makes it less likely. Okay. And if you compare it to a 65-year-old man, oh. hypertensive, diabetic, presenting okay. with chest pain. So we put all of these things together to mm. heighten the diagnosis. Mm. Uh -huh. But typically, the pain is a severe retrosterna or the back of the bone. A shell. Yes. It's like my in. Because my in is hurting. Inside your in. Chai. Abaya. Chest pain. Uh huh. Which is constant. Okay. And there was a lasted for a while. It lasted for a while. And say jaya. Usually a jai because somehow blood vessel no. It may be a bio in a supply number. And now say. I could swam a muscle on a fee. Oh, to me, empty a mobile. Because I told you earlier on, say, the pain you're feeling is it's cry for help. Yes, yes, when yes. it dies, it doesn't do that anymore. Mm. So sometimes I could so chani and yang shea. Then the muscle actually dies. Then the pain goes away. And we might assume, you say, oh, no, 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 Mm. In some of sister B, OD in the 40s, OD 40, pen or start so far as spring. Or say half as spring, and every day or say one as spring, kind of dosage, and often. But not far as spring, they be a say, nipa penya, a D 50 or so, no nya, kumayare, at attack he be, ne brothers, no, you're your last born. Into only dear. Of, of on passing the artist has been better to prevent it sadly and no crazy woman and that was the role of a spring in, in, in a heart attack ah okay so good so I, i'll focus on the scenario that you painted yes, yes. as i said there are certain risk factors that predispose a patient to getting a heart attack mm -hmm. now some patients are at a very high risk of getting a heart attack and you can determine this in the hospital by putting all their individual risks together okay. and then calculating a score mm -hmm. to say that oh you are at a very high risk of getting a heart attack or you are at a moderate risk or a low risk now aspirin is um is the fulcrum of managing a myocardial infarction when it has occurred it is one of the central drugs that we would use in treating the patient in certain peculiar instances like the patient you described who has a significant very significant family history of heart attack who herself may have other risk factors yes. then depending on her assessment you might want to consider putting her on aspirin as what we call primary prophylaxis meaning that when you heart attack me okay. opposite you say aspirin and they prevent it but having said that i want to throw a caution out there mm -hmm. that we don't routinely encourage the use of aspirin just to prevent a heart attack mm. because aspirin has a lot of effects that you don't want yes and want to weigh the risk and the benefits of using this drug mm -hmm. so we would assess as medical practitioners 
and determine whether you are at a very high, high risk. risk and therefore your benefit from the aspirin yeah. is higher than the risk. Okay. But having said that, it is a pillar in managing a person who has a heart attack. Um, answer, my compassion is last question. So, being who say, oh, sir, pain, yeah. Sir, sir, pain, yeah, or, or, or describe be, a be, yeah, no. Then, I own, yeah, so that, a command, you know, um, you know, what can the person do? Is there any self-help thing or the only thing is just to find a doctor? Right. So self-help in, in an acute myocardial infarction is very limited. You need definitive treatment. Picture a very tiny vessel. Usually the diameter is about five millimeters. Hey. Hey, sorry. Na a blocky. Mm. Na a resupply um, an organ as major as the, the heart. heart. We don't have time to use self-help measures. Indeed, in other parts of the world, so many algorithms and steps have been put in place to save muscle. And they say time is muscle. And so we don't have time to waffle around with self-remedies. Um, if you have aspirin at home and you think you're getting a heart attack, you can take... Um, aspirin usually comes in Ghana at 75 milligrams. Mm -hmm. You can take four tablets that wow. would be 300 milligrams which is what we would give you in the hospital but it is critical that you get into hospital early because we need to determine what mode of treatment would be relevant in dealing with your kind of heart attack mm. i won't go into too many of the details but there are different types of heart attacks okay. one where the vessel is totally blocked almost 100 yeah. percent closed yeah. and somewhere it is not completely closed. So some blood still goes through. Mm. The managing strategies are different. different. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when you come in early, we decide what must be done for you. Is it that you need to go in and get the vessel opened through more advanced procedures mm. or we use medical therapy? And then it's important that you come in early too because we can determine your complications and manage them quickly. Mm. Remember, time is muscle. Mm. For me, that, that is the take home. Mm. You need to get into a facility Real quick. And if I come with you, I say, "How can you imagine? So it's not far. Now, Nigeria. What's now? Now, I say, I say, I chew on nine. Imagine your heart. Yes. You know, so it's like you've compressed the vessel. That's what. What's now? Moja, you vein be so. And I'm a moja in difference. And in call on them. We don't say on nine. Nigeria, now you be be be. I say, I say, I chew on nine. It's in my first heart attack. To say, I say, I chew a kuma. Hmm. I don't know if I say, I say, I chew a kuma. I na wakuma no air come say. Boamio na me bre. Ni person me person boa. Ni ni ni. Ah. Boame no me nko ni na 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 for hospital. For hospital. For hospital. Aba. Ma gwe lo kakra de. Why I do? Ma gwe lo kakra de. Oh my heart is here. Heart attack de. It's me for lives actually. It's me for lives. So it's important say we know what to do. Me pa chow. Where the aba kana kit where be? When we say sad pain, I start to say the men should change go to the nearest hospital, and I'm sure that they'll be able to do what you need them to do for you and save your heart because it has to last you a lifetime. Oh, <laughs> you don't want that cardiac surgery. I'm sure that it costs a huge amount of money. A huge amount of money. Trust huge. Me. Well, we'll be right back. can be part of the extraordinary world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services available in Ghana, your dreams are achievable. Get more for less with Vodafone Data. Vodafone. Further together.
Today in This Week in Medicine, we will throw some light on, can you guess, endovascular surgery. The first approximation of the arterial wound was in 1759 by Hallowell. Nearly a century later, John Murphy performed the first arterial anastomosis in 1897. In the 1700s, the Scottish brothers William and John Hunter directed clinicians to the understanding of aneurysmal disease, treating primarily by ligation, that is, tying the aneurysm off. For the progress of endovascular technology, credit goes to a long list of medical innovators. First and foremost is the Ukrainian, Nikolai Volodos, who performed the first endovascular thoracic aneurysm repair with a stent graft. However, the endovascular evolution was sparked by the publication of Joan Parodi and Joe Palmas, who reported the first successful transfemoral abdominal aortic aneurysm on 7th September 1990. Ghana has not been left out with endovascular surgeries. This was realized when an illustrious son in the person of Dr. Ben Sarkodie, the first interventional radiologist in Ghana, started doing endovascular interventions in 2015. In 2019, we had a team of doctors to perform a groundbreaking endovascular intervention in the brain. In simple terms, we can say, they performed the brain surgery without opening the skull. Since then, over 50 of such cases have been done. The good news is, several interventional radiologists are currently being trained in the country. In that summer year can yeah can operation a way what the fa ye mujantin our ye arteries no no here pa arteries no ma mojo for a fu san when you panum not to the beer I there what a hose in not baby why yem row or yem rowa or honum or two or pui or the balloon on na bring you friend and raise more disease na in hun in termina and so a more bang there, a honour will pay why we know we're praying, or two pay. On now, bro, for why ye are, why ye, you should move who. A corner would tomb why ye are, would tomb, wash a honour medzen. Bohono was a two kit kitty be was a fat in tin vessels, no more than ma'am, or could pay be a honour, my damn, neither way suit a honour no coin. I bring you friend stents. Now, a ye were yen in as all often interventional ideology, which had a honour, one boy in your pond, oh ye, what your honour kit kitty be. No, I enter. Blood vessel num, I be a moja for a fusan or nipanum. What do qua, what do qua, and a wash it, even wash it extra in the man who will come home, be a honum, problem no, not what they are there, what they are from honum. I the mark of organizer and a wap 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 patch or tie, be be dam, and the vascular surgery is all about. Now, Ghana and you see what all your demo operation are all church a Ghana for, so style away demo operation, more be ya. Ghana for one here. Operation Dam Bubutu Wen. This is all we have for this week in medicine. The final jewel in their kitchen doesn't mean that's the only jewel in your kitchen. Trust me, there's many more. But I just want to talk about greens because. I've mentioned okra before and how lovely it is to make that okra soup or stew with greens in there. Greens, you know. But what is in there is not just folic acid, calcium, vitamin A, and the rest. But yes, it is anti inflammatory. <laughs> it is anti packed with antioxidants as well. But it has a great way of helping us reduce our risk of obesity, reduce our risk of anemia, um, reduce our risk of hypertension, and many other diseases that is metabolic related. The bone benefits from it. Remember I mentioned calcium earlier. The bone benefits from it, your heart benefits from it, your skin benefits from it. Honestly speaking, greens are indeed a jewel. So don't forget to add some into your food. I just want to just caution um, us about a few things when it comes to our greens. If you are taking blood thinners, you know, when I say blood thinners, I have never called medical because 
there are certain things going on in the body. Doctor catch you say, me the green green. Me make us me the green. Me in the doctor. Doctor, in the upper chain, say there's something in the greens called vitamin K that will counter a drone or demand. Into Mr. I'm going to see a doctor and advice. No, I'm going to see a see a two five five two five five. Yeah, but please, if you're on blood thinners, don't don't touch the greens. All right, till so doctor has taken you off that medication. I face so greens. No, then see a bit of how normal. Yeah, no one can carry such control. Me no. Yeah, no one can so can carry it. It's because it contains something called phytates, nitrates, and oxalates. Yes, nutrition words. What does that mean? Those are anti-nutritive substances that hinder the absorption of certain minerals like calcium and iron. Sometimes even zinc. And you do not want that. In Tumwane Kakai, reduce the amount of that in there. Last but not the least. Last but not the least. One other thing that you can find in some greens like broccoli. But this one is not a green cabbage. But it falls in the same category as this one. Um, it contains something that prevents your body from absorbing iodine. Into your beer, who goes through iodine deficiency into a goiter, and as the doctor catch us, so iodine levels in yeah. Mister, so stay away from cabbages, broccoli, and and it's and it and it likes. Okay, all right. Are we okay? Good. Thank you very much. And that is my last jewel for this season. Can be part of the extraordinary world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services available in Ghana, your dreams are achievable. Get more for less with Vodafone Data. Vodafone. Further together. <sighs> As for me, I'll be biased. Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition stood out for me this season really we couldn't have trumpeted it more it was in fatty liver it was jewels in the kitchen with me freeman not because it was with me freeman but the fact that we got the opportunity to show our cherished viewers and us we have to learn together that these little things in our kitchen make a huge difference in our health not because it just has vitamins and minerals that we are used to hearing but it's got these phytochemicals that are anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. <laughs> antioxidants and if you miss that it just means two main things anti-inflammatory means if there's any wound inside you you do not know about inside the body these things help heal that antioxidant means that basically gives you good health and helps you age beautifully so for me that is my highlight i told you i'll be biased there are many things there are many many highlights but i'll be nutrition biased today sorry no, I'm not apologizing for that. No. <laughs> KK, what, what is your highlight for the season? You know, um, from, as, from, as, from as far as I can remember, um, Vodafone Healthline has always been something that uh, has inspired me. You know, 10 years ago, I wasn't here, you know. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this has inspired me, you know, to, um, to want to do something. And um, going through this week in medicine, mm -hmm. you know, going through the content that we had to share mm. Um, mm. you realize that um, we've had Ghanaians do great things yeah. we have Ghanaians doing greater things in fact um, I'm hoping that um, in the coming years we'll be able to find out more Ghanaians we'll do find out more Ghanaians who are doing things and celebrate mm. them you know because in celebrating our own we're likely to get more wanting to work hard enough to mm. be celebrated mm. and hopefully we can together push push the frontiers of medicine even higher yeah um indeed um the families have been touched i mean it's been great yeah Remember? yeah yes i think that um what stands out for me is the 
the beauty of the human spirit mm. willing to impact in the lives of other people. I think that when somebody finds themselves in a situation that is difficult, such as ill health, the negative impact of that goes a long way from beyond the person himself mm. to his family, to the mm. community. Mm. But in the same way, the help that other people give, such as Vodafone, impacts not just on the person, but on the family and on the society as a whole. Mm. And I think that that's a beautiful thing that um, we learn from not just this season, but for yeah. the past 10 years yeah. that Vodafone has given to us. It's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, it Worth is a commending. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Once again, we know I like saluting. What up for Healthline? We salute you. Yeah. We'll be right back. can be part of the extraordinary world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services available in Ghana, your dreams are achievable. Get more for less with Vodafone Data. Vodafone. Further together. What a great way to end this season. <laughs> the 10th edition of the Vodafone Healthline with our own Abba in the hot seat. I hope you learned something. Mm. And, and what a hot seat has been the whole season. Full of useful, relevant information from experts in their areas. Prima, it's been great, hasn't it? It has been great. And honestly speaking, I enjoyed grilling you. <laughs> I did. I did. I mean, I had a lot of experts come in. But Abba was special. Because I, I now I get to grill her outside mythbusters mm -hmm. and stories. And it's nice for her to tell us more about her field. So I enjoyed that. Another thing I really enjoyed. Hey, if you're beefy, Masa, is that called? That's flat stomach. Well, I was always doing the exercise, so you did not see me. Masa, Masa, Jai. Oh, I was starting. You're one pack. <laughs> you see? You see? Good night for you. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, don't worry. Just see if you She'll give you that. Hey, but me me But till then. <laughs> If you had a seriously flat tummy and the stretches were epic. Honestly, I think that we underestimate the power of stretches. And she's taught us a lot about it. Doing it before exercise and after prevents injury. But one trick I learned along the line was that stretching properly actually tones certain areas. You want to try that. You want to try that. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I did. What about you? Any and special enjoyment apart from aphrodisiac oh Fema. we agreed that we were on uh, you see aphrodisiac is for all of us <laughs> it needs me it needs you <laughs> it needs all of us the chocolate you remember the chocolate man mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. it needs me it needs mm -hmm. you and i was advocating for you to get some chocolate that i'm sure mr Fema gave you that chocolate that day but you oh. don't come and say thank you to me uh, so you're welcome, you're welcome. Now, who is mr Fema? My Mr. husband. But why Mr. Freeman? I want to ask you. Who is Mrs. Yalia? No, we have Mr. Freeman. Well, Abba, any final words for us? I think that a lot has been achieved this season and indeed over the past 10 years. And it's been dynamic. Mm. It's been informative. Mm. It's been relevant. Yes. It's been useful. It's and been there's fun. more to come. Yes. Keep watching Vodafone Health Life. Yes, indeed. It's been <laughs> fun. And don't forget that if you have any questions, you can't remember something we said and you want clarity, there are doctors, there are medical practitioners just waiting for you to call. Pick up that phone and call 255. For phone, for 255, a doctor for a question. Hey, free, Just call them. They'll answer all your questions. 
and you know what to do because now you are empowered. What more do we want? Till we meet again, stay healthy, stay truthful, stay loyal, and let's build a better Ghana. Hi! Bye! Vodafone, further together.